everyone, welcome back to the Pony Podcast YouTube channel. Today's video is all about grooming. So grooming is really important because not only does it keep your horse clean, but it's a good time to check if they've got any cuts or any injuries. Uh, it's also a good way to bond with your horse and they really like it as well because you can give them a good scratch. So when you're grooming, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is pick out their feet. I've got a hoof pick here. They come in all shapes and sizes and all look different, but all the same thing. So when you're picking up their foot, you wanna run your hand down the back of the leg and if they're good, like she is, they'll pick their foot up. And then when you're doing their feet, you want to just go either side of the frog, because it's quite sensitive here, to get anything out. And it's really important you do it first, because then if they've got any stones in their feet, you can get them out before it makes them sore. And then you want to work your way around all four feet. But when you do a back leg, you want to run your hand down the front of the leg rather than the back. Slide your hand to the inside and pick up their foot. And the reason you do that rather than down the back is so if they kick out, your arm's not in the way and you're not going to get kicked. So it's just a safety thing. So now we've picked out her feet, we're going to do her body and I'm going to use a body brush to do that. And this is nice and soft and it just gets the dust and the grease out of her coat. And I use it with a plastic curry comb because it helps to clean the brush after you've brushed her, brushed your horse. And you can also use a metal curry comb and it just means you're not moving the dirt back around their coat. So I'm going to start on this side and so I want my brush to be in my hand closest to her head because it just helps to get a bit more weight behind the brush and it helps you to groom them more effectively because it's also a bit of a massage and good for their circulation so you want to be putting a bit of weight behind your brush. Okay, right Maria, are you ready? <laughs> So I'm cleaning it after every stroke or every other stroke, just to make sure it's picking up the dust. And it's really important to make sure that you always go in the direction of the hair so that it's more comfortable for them. And what's good about a plastic curry comb is because it's got the little bubbles, it's good for getting any stains out. It's not too harsh on them. Okay, let's do the other side. just tap it off to get the dust out. When you come to do their head, the best way to be able to brush all their head is to take their head collar off. Because you don't want them to run away, you're going to put it around their neck. But when you do that, you want to make sure they're untied and the lead rope is through the string. Because then if they do pull back, they can move and it's not going to hurt their neck. Now annoyingly, my head collar's got a really annoying buckle that doesn't come undone easily. so. I'm just gonna slip it over her ears. And then we'll do that. There we go, it does the same job. So when you do, hello, so when you're doing their head, again just go quite gently because you want to be careful around their heads. There we go. And again, stay in the direction of the head. Oh, nice. <laughs> there we go. Maria likes having her head. And then when you're done, just put the head colour back on. There we go, tie it back up. So now we've done her body, we're going to do her mane and her tail. Um, I use a hairbrush just because I think it goes through their hair better and doesn't pull. But there's lots of different combs you can use. Yeah, we're going to do your mane here. And lots of different combs you can use, so these are more for mains and for pulling. Let us get the tails out. Okay. 
Maria's mane's really fuzzy. Sticks up. There we go. <laughs> oh, you're such great comedy value, Maria. <laughs> So when I do her tail, I always use some mane and tail conditioner um, just because it goes through a bit more easily. I don't use it on her mane because they don't always like it being sprayed by their head. But I'd I know, apply it quite liberally. And what's nice as well is it makes it easier then for a couple of days after to brush it. So yeah, and then when you brush it, just do it in small amounts. Um, went through this in the bathing video as well so if you want to look back at that but yeah the aim is to not try to do too much because then it falls The shavings out. There we go. Oh, one more. Got it. After you've used the body brush and you've done her mane and tail, it's a good idea to give her eyes and nose and dock a sponge, um, just for hygiene. I've got two sponges here. Some people like to use baby wipes, but it's not very environmentally friendly. So sponges are probably better. Um, just a bit of water. And you want to have two so that you're not using the same sponge that you've used to wipe their dock to then do their eyes and nose. Yeah, right. So you literally really damp and then you want to just wipe your nose just to get any snot out and make it nice and clean. Um, and then look at the other one. There we go. Better. And then just bring it out. Uh, excuse me. Come here. No. There we go. And then you go into the dock. So some horses don't like this. So if you haven't done it for the first time, probably don't stand right behind them. Make sure you stand to the side. And then just lift the tail out of the way. And just give the dock a wipe. Good girl. There we go. So that's what I've used for a basic groom today. I've got quite a lot of other things in my grooming kit that I thought I might show you. Um, I like it in here because you can just pick it up and go when you want to go to a show. Um, we're going to use these in a minute. These are stable rubbers. They don't have to be fancy tea towels. Um, you can use any tea towels at home that are old or just an old bath towel or an old t-shirt and um, we'll go through what these do in a minute. Um, I've got my tail bandages in here so I don't lose them. Um, I've got this nice soft brush, a face brush with really soft hair. They quite like that taking the dust off. Um, got a dandy brush. It's really useful in the winter when they're muddy to get the mud off their legs and their body. Because someone really likes getting muddy, don't you? Um, I've got magic brush. These are amazing uh, if you can get your hands on them. We, when we interviewed Sam Roberts on the podcast, she loved them and talked about how much she used them. So she she's a show rider, so definitely a top tip there. Uh, I've got another body brush um, and another one here. This one I've trimmed the edges off because I use it for quarter marks. So I don't want any stray bristles making my quarter marks look messy. Um, I've got a rubber curry comb. It's really useful when they're molting. Helps to get the hair out. Um, toothpick. I've got some fly spray, or fly spray, fly repellent. This stuff's really good. We were given it a beta, um, and you just put it on your brush and then brush it on them, and it works really well. Especially, it does. Especially if you've got a horse that doesn't like fly spray, that's really good. Um, I've got food foil for shows and when it gets a bit dry. We're going to do a show tip video, so we can go to some of that then. I've got baby oil again for shows. So I'll show you what I do, use that for. Um, I've got a little bottle of mane and tail conditioner. This is quite useful before you go when you're at a show. You have to take a big bottle. Um, scissors, always really useful. Um, I've got some Vaseline, also really useful just to have. I've got 
got my numbers for when I'm competing, um, needle and thread, got part of my stud kit, and I've got batting bands and electrical tape. So that's all the useful bits and bobs in there. So yeah, I'm sure everyone's got lots of different things in their grooming kit, but I thought it might be useful to see what other things I've got that I use to groom my horse. So we just spoke about stable rubbers. This is what these are, recap. Um, so there are two things you can do with them. The most common is just to wipe them over your horse to remove the dust. It's really useful when you finish the groom or if you're about to go into the show ring, it just gives them that final polish. So you just literally wipe it and you can see the difference already. It just picks up the top layer of dust with noise from the coat and makes them look all shiny. Um, so yeah, it's quite useful for that. And then the other thing that you can use them for, or you can use a massage pad or a brush, is strapping. So anyone that's training for their B-test or done the B-test has probably heard about this before. And it's a way of building up muscle and stimulating circulation that you might use in the winter or if your horse is stood in all the time. So you want to work different muscle groups. There's four different muscle groups you want to work. So the ones up here, the shoulder muscles, you want to work the muscles at the top of the hindquarters and the ones down here. And what you do with it is you sort of do a bit of a bang to stimulate the muscle contracting so that it before you hit it with the pad so that it just that does a bit of a squeeze and it helps to build the muscle up. And you don't hit them very, you don't bang them very hard. It's like the same pressure as you would if you were grooming. So what you would do, say I was gonna work this one here, just get her ready, give her a little stroke, bring my arm up like that. Um, but I'm just very offended now. <laughs> um, but it does not hard. It sounds worse, but then look, then she contracts her muscle and that's more what you're looking for than to do a big slam down with your hand. Um, you want to build up slowly, so you might start doing five on each muscle group each time and then build up to ten and you might do it more in one place than another if there's a certain place you're trying to build muscle up. Um, it's quite an old fashioned thing but we used to do it sometimes when it was really snowy and they were stuck inside and we couldn't even put them on the walker. So it's the useful skills to be able to know.